Good morning, everybody. It is a great day here at Option Pit. Um, the world is our oyster. All is well. All is happy. I want to point people toward, uh, you know, we're going to be having a, uh, our webinar of the month on the 18th, and then we're going to be having another Saturday class on the 28th of February, so that'll be great. Um, so everybody keep an eye on events for that. I should have that up here in the next day or so. Um, aside from that, uh, you know, we had a, uh, you know, I had a great webinar on Saturday. It was great for so many people to come out, and uh, I want to thank everybody. So now let's talk about the market. Well, we started out down on the day. Things were looking ugly. Everyone was worried about the Greek exit and volatility in Ukraine, and now look at what's going on. We're back down to flat. Vol still up nicely, but we're back down to flat. Why? Well. You know, the Europeans in their, in their ever brilliant uh, foreign policy approaches are uh, potentially about to appease the Russians on, uh, on the Ukraine. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but that's the reason why the markets moved to positive and you've seen the VIX, uh, you know, come off a little bit. I think it has a lot more to come off. The fact that it's not coming off points toward uh, real potential for a turnaround. Um, you know, where is there some strength? Well, we've seen oil rebound a little bit uh, over the last few days. Um, if you uh, look at, at the move it made, I mean, it went from 44 to 50 real fast. So I would not be shocked if that was the, uh, the near-term low that we've seen. As you can see, oil is steadily creeping higher. And, you know, I think it's got 55 bucks a barrel, 55, 60 dollars a barrel is probably where it's going to settle. Um, and that's probably, you know, about where it kind of belongs now, um, where gas is lower, but oil is being produced at a level that, you know, the efficient producers can make money. Um, you know, where is there, uh, you know, so that that's, should be driving, you know, some of the oil stocks higher. You know, you should be seeing your Exxon Mobiles and your, your Chevron Texacos and some of those uh, pushing themselves up a little bit. Um, you know, with the move in S and P, while we wait for the you know the VIX futures are still backward, so the market is still pointing toward bullish. We're right off that all that kind of near term high, and uh, you know that's kind of the way everything is lining up. I think on the day, um, you know, we may get a little bit of a push higher, but as fears on Ukraine and things like that. Um, I do think we'll probably end up down on the day. The fact that the VIX really isn't easing off on on this move uh, doesn't make me feel good about it. So, like, if I pull up a chart of uh, S and P, all right, and then we add the volatility. Come on. All right, you can see how stuff is kind of moving around today. You're not seeing a lot of, let's pull up April. And you see, vol's really not coming in very much. You got some weird little moves there, but vol's really not coming in very much. So to me, that's a sign that there's still some real potential for, for things to get not uh, less attractive than they currently are. All right, folks. On that note, I will hope everybody has a great day, and I will, uh, I'll be back a little bit later. Talk to you soon.